Reuben Leva pours kernels of dried corn from a small pouch. It's an offering to honor the land at the San Diego American Indian Health Center, turning in each direction for the four phases of life, from children to elders. Danzo, that means hello uh, in the Apache language. I am a Chiricahua Chinde Apache. He's a member of the board of directors at this clinic in Bankers Hill. And I stand here honored and humble to speak to you on Kumeyaay land. Started in 1979, the clinic provides a hub of services for patients that are made up of 33 percent Native Americans. Leva says the clinic represents so much more than that for the urban indigenous community. The urban community uh, is different than the tribal community because many of us here in the urban areas may not be traditional to these lands. And so we rely on places like San Diego American Indian Health Center to establish networks of support within the community. In order to understand how COVID-19 has impacted Native Americans, Leva offers some historical context. Dating back to 1519, when Hernan Cortez entered the Americas, he came across Montezuma and the Aztecs. And from that point forward, we've been battling diseases. He says Native Americans born into historical trauma want to acknowledge the harm committed against them, but can use the struggles of the past to turn into positive outcomes, including the fight against the latest pandemic. Ronnie Whitehorse is an RN here and a member of the Navajo Nation in Arizona, which has been hit hard by the pandemic. But we can't go back, you know, without endangering a lot of people. She shares real concerns of members on the reservations because of lack of supplies or medicine. So having this vaccine here and the ability to give it out is really, really huge for us. But even with the availability of the vaccine, Whitehorse faces resistance when calling on patients to come in for their shots. We don't have a good historical history with the government. So that's the basis of a lot of our mistrust. I can imagine how people would say, now wait a minute here. Health Center CEO Kevin LaChapelle says the organization is built around the patient, with Native Americans serving Native Americans, which helps build trust. Another beautiful day to be indigenous on Turtle Island. The clinic uses social media to engage urban members with classes and cultural activities. A cloth um, type of moxin is really easy. When it comes to vaccination hesitancy, La Chapelle says patience is paramount, but social media has helped on that front too. So one of the things we did to counter it, which was really amazing, is some of our board members um, that are elders, uh, they said, you know what, when I get mine, I'm happy to do it on video and give a message and show that I'm doing this because I believe that we have to protect each other. That helped a lot. One of those elders is Randy Edmonds. I'm from the Kiowa and Kettle Nations of Oklahoma. Edmonds received both COVID-19 vaccinations, his visits documented and posted on Facebook to encourage the community to follow suit. So they could uh, understand that this elder would like to continue living and uh, wants to take the shot to make sure that that happens. A survivor of the residential program and later relocated to California by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. In history, we have been lied to. We have been disenfranchised. By that, we begin to lose traditions. We begin to lose our language. We begin to lose our history. Losing history is something this tight-knit community faces again, this time as a side effect of the pandemic. Edmonds, a celebrated gourd dancer, sits beneath a colorful mural created of his image in traditional regalia. A reminder of the pre-pandemic days of singing, dancing, and socializing at powwows. And that's uh, how we stay together as Indian people. We don't have a community like the African Americans do, the Hispanics, the Asians. You know, they all have their little communities where they live. Indians don't have that. We, um, we're scattered all over San Diego. And while social media has helped to keep the community connected with traditions, the pandemic still impedes the conveying of important generational knowledge. Ruben Leva says some objects and ceremonies are too private or sacred to be photographed, filmed, or shared online. We don't have a tremendous documented, written explanation of our customs and culture. Those are delivered and have been 
uh, since time immemorial, verbally and in person. And like all challenges of the past, you know, I miss seeing you. that the urban it's native not, community not. has endured and overcome, feel right. during this pandemic, it's the time spent apart that hurts the most. Maya Trabulsi, KPBS News.